Hi, it's Matsworks, and today I have my overhead valve engine hooked up to my Lenka transmission. And in this video, I'm going to. I saw your feedback from the last video. If you guys want this one video, just me explaining it and then me running it, or if you guys just want me to put one video and then have me running it and an explanation in one video, like I always do. And I have a compromise, um, like what Laszlo and some other people commented down below. Um, that if I have short explanation of what it is in the general overview, that it might take a minute or so, minute or 30 seconds or so, um, and then I'll run it, and then explanation, more deep, deeper explanation of what I did to the thing. And since I don't have really much to explain, um, I'm just going to do a short explanation in this video, and then I'll, that's all it, and I'm just going to run it, and then um, that's it. But the thing is, what's good about this is that you can see what I've done to it, a short explanation of what I did to it, and then if you just want to see it running, then you just wait for 30 seconds, and then there you go, and then it's running. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, or pretty good, I guess, for a compromise. And if you guys want to see the explanation, then if you're interested, then you just wait till the end. So, I'm just going to do that. Um, but not much I did to this engine. Uh, basically, all I did to this was I have... I've small uh lower gear ratio in this thing because this thing's even weaker so it needs to spin this thing even slower i think this thing is like nine or like eight to one seven to one like seven spins of this engine it was one spin of that thing it's so much slower but and this thing's even slower as well uh, of course um than that my fast one cylinder but uh I don't know, you guys can see if you guys like it or not, I would definitely like the fast one cylinder better than this thing, um, it doesn't rev up, um, whenever you downshift, it sounds like a lawnmower engine, and for some reason, in real life, I'm not sure how well audio picks that up, but, uh, yeah, and it doesn't have much gear lag to it, because I have a lower gear ratio in here, so, it's not like, it's not like that, it's just like, and it's like, goes faster flywheel so it just maintains rpm whenever you're shifting it doesn't dip down in rpm when you're shifting so yeah well i don't have much else to see or say so i'm just gonna run it <laughs> Oh, the vacuum engine broke. As you can hear, I did improve it. I put a bigger valve in it, so it runs faster now. That's also why it sounds like a vac um, uh, lawnmower engine. But uh, the thing, the timing gear down here that goes from the crank and then to the uh, camshaft to the side got loose and disconnected. So I got to retime it. By the way, this thing loves advanced. Like, if you, as far as, like, I said 90 degrees timing, I go, like, a little bit farther than that. Because this thing, I, the one thing that I love about this engine is the tunability of this thing. It's so cool. You can just adjust with the, um, the camshaft to make it run faster or make it run slower. Or if you gain up in RPMs and then it runs actually faster than, uh, low RPMs, which is kind of realistic. I really like that. Pretty cool. Very neat. So I think I fixed it. I need might run a little slower now because I adjusted the timing on it, so it's not perfectly tuned. All right, let's try to run it again.
Well, the thing kicked out again, the stupid gear and this thing. But it did actually run faster, I actually tuned it. And you can see that it, whenever I had lower RPMs, it actually ran slower than higher RPMs. As you can see, when I tried to first start up, it didn't try to start up. And then after I uh, revved it up for a little while, it went faster than normally. But uh, this thing, I think I put lubrication on, well I did lubricate this thing period, but I think it's screwing up with uh, how well this gear sticks to the axle, which makes it pretty bad. But also, do you guys want a tutorial on this engine? If you guys want a tutorial, please like this uh, like this video. And um, if you wouldn't mind, comment, but you don't have to. I think my goal, like, in order to make a tutorial for this overhead valve engine is, um, like, six likes. I'll make a tutorial for this engine. So, um, this thing is pretty complicated. Uh, definitely not as complicated as this uh, Lenko transmission. Um... If I did try to make a tutorial for the Lincoln transmission, I don't think anyone would ever, anyone would ever use it because that thing has so many uh, parts to it and stuff that probably your average Joe don't have enough parts for that thing. But if you have been collecting for Legos or Legos for a while, if you have a bunch of Technic pieces and stuff laying around and gears and whatnot, then you probably build it. But I mean, probably about ninety percent of you guys probably don't have the pieces in order to make this thing. Or make that link of the transmission. So the overhead valve engine is much more, I guess you could call it, um, easier to build, more manageable part-wise. So well, I think this is the end of the vacuum engine because I can't get, can't put this gear back on it. But uh, you can kind of hear it whenever it's running. It um, runs pretty fast, faster than usual. Yeah, this thing just garbage well like overhead valve engines people will know it takes a lot of work to this thing but uh, well if you guys enjoyed the video please like it then I'll if yeah of course I've had six likes then I'll make a tutorial for this engine um, so I don't have really deep in-depth explanation of this thing pretty much the same as always um, here's a close-up of the gear, what I'm talking about, this gear right here, well, it used to be gear right here, it keeps them falling out, and there's a crank there, and then camshaft down here, just down there. and it moves this one here. As you can see, it's like really jerky like that. That's why I thought this big flywheel right here in order to keep that momentum and try to smooth out that jerkiness of that thing. But you can hear it um, as far as vacuum engine goes, so I'm not probably going to probably not gonna put this back together and make another video. But, uh, yeah. Here's my uh, exhaust port. If you guys didn't see the video beforehand, the improved video, go check that out and I explain what I did it. So, I guess I'll uh, wrap things up, so see ya.